Now that was unexpected. And I will definitely take that for not being able to go out shed hunting today and picking that up off the road. My truck just right over there. Heck yeah, let's go. What's up everybody? February 22nd, I'm out here with my buddy Cody and doing some shed hunting. Pretty warm day today, got an early start to it. Um, just kind of working some river bottom right now and we're probably about a mile in and just walked up on the first antler of the day. I walked right up on it. So it's in kind of a little bowl right here soaking up the sun along the river. So let's pick it up. All right, so thank you we're in this little bowl grass area. Here it is. the biggest shed of the year for me so far. That's a good one there, Christian. Nice five side. Been down for a little bit. Snapped off his brow, but from the looks of the brace, he didn't have much of a brow anyways. But hey, we're on the board and hopefully we can pick up a whole bunch more. So let's keep walking. Well, we are a ways into the walk and it's been a struggle. We still just have this one, but I just came across number two. So let's go pick it up. Yeah, it looked like the squirrels got to it. Darn tree rats. But, number two. We're just gonna keep walking, following these trails like we have been, and see what happens. It's, I don't know if they're still holding, or if it's just cause it's so nice out that they're just not on this property. But hopefully we can find a couple more because we're actually on our way out. So stay tuned and maybe we'll find something else. All right, you guys. So I stopped at a house. I've tried getting permission here for three years and I just enjoy talking to the, the landowner and they were actually nice enough and let me in here for the first time. And uh, nobody else shed hunts it. They kind of only do the perimeters and got in here and I just found something. I don't know if it was an un... A terrible death or if he died and then the tree fell but check this out this tree came down but i seen this skull and this is laying right here and then i don't know if i'll be able to get nope that's not gonna work i don't know if i'll be able to lift this tree where'd it go right there there's the other side how cool. If you wonder how long it's been there. So we're gonna we're gonna take these and give them to the landowner because I think they think it's pretty cool. So let's see what else we can find. All right, what's up everybody? And it's February 23rd. I was actually headed across town to uh, do some work related stuff. And on my way, I'm pretty sure I just spotted a road shed here in town. There's a, a road that's got parks on both sides and the deer cross through here like crazy. And I'm pretty sure I've seen an antler. That's going for these cars to turn around. I'm not 100% positive, but I'm like 80% sure. Let's see here. Oh, that's definitely an antler. Let's get you turned around and go look. I was just driving and I noticed it. Right there. Oh, that's 100% an antler. Let's go pick it up. All right. Let's go get it. It looks like a pretty, pretty darn good one. So I can't believe I spotted it before somebody else. Come on. Yeah, it's this nice park through here. And there's this little ditch. Ooh, that looks like a pretty dang good one too. <coughs> and I'm not able to get out today cause the the uh, woman is sick, so I gotta stay with the kids. Ooh, that is a good one. 
heck yes. Look at that one. Oh, jeepers. Talk about a shed surprise. Good night. Really? Now that was unexpected. And I will definitely take that for not being able to go out shed hunting today and picking that up off the road. My truck just right over there. Heck yeah, let's go. All right guys, I'm sorry if you can't hear me very well due to the wind, but uh, I'm at a property I picked up last year, did very well here last year. But I'm walking the edge of this cover crop and I'm looking into the thicket. I didn't pay no attention to this last year just cause it's so stinking thick and full of thorns, but I just spotted an antler and it looks like a good one and we should go pick it up. I spotted it, I don't know if you guys can see it laying back in there. But it looks like a pretty good one. Right down this deer trail. Oh goodness. Ow, these thorns. Oh yeah. All right, that's a good one. I mean, you guys can see it's super thick in here. Ouch. Where am I at here? Yeah, it's an oldie. Maybe I should have walked this last year. A little bit of chew marks up on the tip. Look at you. I'm definitely okay with that. I wish I would have found it when it was fresh, but I'm gonna have to show the landowner. He said there was a couple big 10 pointers running around out here. And I'm assuming this is probably one. So let's see if we can match them. It looks like we're gonna have to walk through the thorny stuff. So let's see if we can find the other side. Well, it's just found number two. <clears throat> Cutting through to this back pasture where I found a lot last year and I just found another oldie. So let's go grab him. This one looks like it's pretty old. Oh yeah, it looked like you had something cool going on there. Dang. He's a neat one, but I'll take anything I can find, but hopefully we can find some freshies. Keep walking. Finally got back to these beans in here and there's probably an acre and a half and just spotted the first shed. It's a little spike, but let's go pick it up. Look at that. That's awesome. <laughs> just went through all those beans, only found that spike and just jumped out and just spotted this one right through this evergreen tree. Turn the camera around and I'll pick it up. Shed. Keep after it. Just picked up that other shed probably 200 yards down the hill. Come up the hill, jumped on this side, side west facing slope here and just spotted another one. Turn this around, go we'll grab it. Decent four. Overlooking this river here. We'll keep after it. Hey guys, out here right in the four wheeler on one of these beans. Kicked up about 20 deer out of this ditch and look over. I'm pretty sure I found a shed, so I'll flip this around. We'll go get it. Go. Nice bunch. 
shoot up. Shoot. It's a nice deer. We'll keep looking. Just started on this ditch, so there easily could be more in here, so. Riding the four-wheeler down the fence. Just spotted one. Looks pretty nice. Oh, boom, there's there's a match, I bet. That's a heavy four. Oh, yeah. Pretty good deer right there. Pretty heavy. Well, it is February 21st, and I was doing a little bit of shed hunting. Um, Greg's got a farm he can't get to, and he asked if I wanted to go shed hunt it real fast for him, and I said, absolutely, and it's paid off. There's my truck. There's the first shed of the day. Check this thing out. Really nice, really nice five-point side. Um, he's got a bunch of pictures of this deer. I think he said he's got a shed from him last year and uh yeah i'll take it first thing to start the day well probably walked another mile or so for nothing and then uh just happened to look over and see one it's broken and chewed and all sorts of stuff not a whole lot there but it counts it's better than nothing that's for sure number two on the day hopefully we can stack them up pretty good well i was just walking back down this tree line i saw a bunch of hair and figured it was a dead deer somewhere and sure enough big old 11 pointer so hopefully we can find some more sheds i'd say about 90 percent of them have dropped here so they've done a lot of dozer work so it's kind of push deer around so figuring out where they are now compared to where they were in the past is a little bit difficult but we forgot two already so hopefully we can uh, keep that trend going well this is something you don't see every day obviously somebody found it and thrown it up here but all right so two-year-old eight point we'll uh leave that one to the squirrels we're walking over to a piece right now that's supposed to be uh, pretty good. It's super nasty and thick to get there, but it opens up and Greg says it's one of the best spots to shed hunt. So we're slowly and painfully making our way there. So hopefully we find something. Well, I just got done walking the, what Greg said is the best part and it looked awesome. Just perfect, everything you look for in finding sheds. And, I have a pretty good feeling that somebody was already there. Uh, there's some four-wheeler tracks, whether a neighbor wandered through or or what, but now I'm gonna kind of work my way back. I'm already a good, God, I don't even know, almost three hours walking. I have no idea how many hours or how many miles, but just the two still. So it'd be really nice to find a few more kind of working my way back to the truck so gonna keep after it and keep the fingers crossed well been walking a long time and I'm basically kind of working my way back to the truck long ways back to the truck but underneath the cedar tree right there number three for the day not a big one but it sure as that counts and it's actually pretty fresh so obviously the deer just bedded up there and slept and who knows where the other side's at but makes you feel a little bit better I've it's probably been four and a half miles since I found the last one but let's keep going